I interviewed Bishop Don Magic Wand. Church! Uh, uh, about a week ago. <laughs> Incredible interview. Um, the one thing he said, because you know, in the in your movie, you mentioned the whole, you know, how you actually got into pimping and stuff like that. And the one thing that I talked to Bishop was that, you know, he said a lot of people thought that he pushed you into that, but in fact, he was saying how he told you to go back with your wife. Him, him, Minister Seymour, and a couple of other real pimps kept him one hundred. They they didn't want that for me, but I wanted that. I was like, I was a kid, and um. I dreamed of being a pimp like my whole life. Like that was all I seen as a kid was a nigga with his nails done. And he had a light blue suit on with seven bitches and they all had on baby blue like him. He had a baby blue Cadillac. When he jump out, they open the door. They go set it up for him, bring him money. He ride up on us, call me to the car. What's up, Slim? Break me off a few dollars. Let me sit behind the wheel of his Cadillac turn the steering wheel, put his hat on, and look up at him like, man, I want to be like you. You understand what I'm saying? So when I was finally able to to do that, to really say, man, I'm finna really jump off into this pimping shit. These bitches really like me, and I really feel like I got the pimping in me. So with disrespect to my wife and my everything, I went on a pimping binge for about two years straight. Like, for real. Real hoes, real pimping, but I fell in love with a bitch. That's why I had to do a movie called Bossing Up, because the first rule of pimping is, thou shall not love a hoe. And I fell in love with a hoe, which was compelling because I wasn't the only pimp, and I wasn't the last pimp to fall in love with a hoe. I was just the first pimp to tell a story of a pimp falling in love with a hoe. That's bossing up. It's in stores right now. You can go get that.